I wanted to go over some things that were a little bit confusing in Git to me when I was first getting started. And they're very basic things, and it took me way too long to figure out how to do them. So I hope that this is useful to somebody else who's struggling with the same things. So I have a little Git project here. I have a couple files. And the thing is, Git doesn't handle renaming files or moving them very well. So let's say I have this, this data, data, dat and I want to move it into this folder that I have, right? So on the command line, how I would normally do that is uh, move the original file location and then the second one. And, and this is true of if you do it through a, a file manager GUI as well. So I do that, and now if I run git status, git kind of misinterpreted that. So it sees it as two distinct things. It says, oh, you deleted this file and you created this new one, which is now untracked and isn't in the project. So that's not really what I meant to do, right? Like I, I meant to just move one file and it should remain a consistent reference to it. So if I undo that real quick, the way to do it is to just preface that move command with git. So git has its own little sort of git move that does the exact same thing. It does that move command, but it records it in such a way that it makes sense to git. So now it's, it's literally the same exact command, except I put git before it. And now if I do git status, you'll see it records it as renaming a single file rather than these two separate delete and new file operations. And then I can go ahead and move data to folder. I can go ahead and commit that into my project. And the second thing is that this can also be useful with deleting files. So rather than do remove text, texty text, if I wanted to delete that from the repository, I prefix remove with git. So I do git remove. And that works a little better. It goes ahead and adds that to the next commit for me already and records it as a deletion and works better. So it's just a little bit more convenient than doing the regular remove thing. So prefix move and remove with git when you're sort of moving files around and deleting them in a git repository.